I'm Tim Colty with Garrett Advancing Motion. We're at PRI 2023. to launch our first electronic product. So it's called the G-Smart Bluetooth module. And basically what it does is it transmits turbo speed and boost via Bluetooth to your mobile device. So turbo speed and boost pressure combined, basically you get a pressure ratio. So understanding pressure ratio and turbo speed, you can plot those together, X and Y axis, to get a point on the compressor map. So at different RPMs and boost pressure readings, your turbo is operating in different points along that compressor map. So lower RPMs, you're in a different point, but really you want to find where you're operating at, at your turbos and your engines, you know, most efficient zones. So this will allow you the data to go and do that yourself. If you're installing a turbo yourself at home and you wanted to check for boost leaks, this can also tell you that if, if your turbo speed is high and you have no boost, you may have a problem. So uh, as a beginner or entry level kind of a diagnostics tool, you can also use this. Or if you're a dyno shop and your customer doesn't have a speed sensor, you could have either the flange style or the threaded sensor with you and you can plug these in really quick and out and, and see what all that information is happening without your customer having it. If you were a tuner and you used it but then you gave the car back to the customer, let's say, as a car owner you should always have a turbo speed sensor uh, in your car. It can help save your engine, save your transmission, save your turbo, save you from costly failures, let's say, or damage to the car. A tuner can tune it and you can can feel safe leaving that, that you know your max power is always going to be there. But what if else, something else happens? You have wastegate failure, boost control failure, you know, so you want to have those constant fail safes and this can be that for you. So this will log and give you a, your max RPM point. It can log 120 seconds of actual live data. If you're on the dyno, you can pause it in between runs and figure out where your turbo is operating as far as like the RPM and the boost pressure. It leaves a little marker while on your peak pressure. So there's a diagnostics section of this app as well, where it'll log your most recent five overspeeds. It'll tell you which turbo was on it, how many hundreds of thousands of RPM that overspeed was, what date was that. It, so it gives you some, some other valuable data that it logs in addition to the live feed that you see on the gauge up top. So the gauge up top will always give you your live turbo RPM and boost numbers. Graph down below will give you up to that 120 seconds of graphical data that you can pause or, or keep recording. The main screen, you'll see the top half of the app is the gauge. This will always give you your live turbo speed. If you do have the boost pressure sensor hooked up, it'll give you the boost down below in blue. So it also gives you this green marker here. The green marker shows you your highest peak turbo speed. So it only, it'll move down, but it never moves back up until the car is off again. It does give you from, uh, from green to yellow to red as you approach your max turbo speed as well. Down in the second half of the section, it's the graphical section. This has the number Number of seconds and you can change this from anywhere from five seconds to 120 seconds of data feed that you can see live and you can also pause it at any time scroll through the data to see what your PSI and your RPM data was it's really easy to set up it comes with the you know the pre-wired harness and the module and so when you go to connection settings you can rename it if you want you connect it to your own phone and then you're back on the gauge now as far as sensors go loaded with all the Garrett part numbers which include the blade count on the compressor wheel and the max RPM of that turbo. All you need to do is select your turbo, select your part number, and then it enters the blade count and max RPM. So you save that number, and then you would go to your boost pressure sensor setup if you were gonna set up the sensor. This also has different sensors, which will have the different readings at five volts and 4.5 volts, and you set those up. Or if you wanted to set up your own sensor, you could set it up yourself if you didn't have something that was on this list. One of the other cool things about this is is it works for the two types of Garrett speed sensors. We have a threaded speed sensor, and then we have a flange style speed sensor, which you would find on G-Series speed sensors. These are also common for other competitor brand turbos. So if you wanted to run this with certain other turbo brands, this will also work with other competitor brands or a custom configuration. If your compressor housing didn't come with any sort of speed sensor, you can machine the housing for your own speed sensor and put one of our speed sensors in it. 
it and have the ability to log the data as well. The GSmart app is free. It's available for iOS and for Android devices. It's available in the US right now, but we're currently working towards the terms and conditions to launch this globally.